All right, this will be probably one of our shortest videos in the entire series. We want to compute the limit of this vector valued function, right? Uh, it takes values um, in three, with a three dimensional vector. Limit as t goes to zero. So this whole thing here, right, this is, this is our of t in this case. And as we discussed, when you're taking limits of vector valued functions, you can do it component wise. So this limit, is equal to the vector with components given by the limit t going to zero of sine t over t. All right, then the limit t going to zero of t squared minus three t plus three. And then the limit t going to zero of cosine t, All right? And if you dig way back to your, uh, you know, like section 1.3, um, analytic methods for limits, sine t over t, prove that using the squeeze theorem, right? We need to remember that that limit is one. Polynomials are continuous, so we can do direct substitution and we get three. Cosine is continuous, cosine of zero is one, and we're done.